Hi, everybody. It's me, Kathy Guggenauer. I am business coach and trainer for virtual assistants and virtual experts. This video interview is for you if you are a business owner who is interested in growing your business or if you're someone who's interested in learning more about what it's really like to become a virtual assistant or a virtual expert. Because today I have the wonderful privilege of interviewing one of the top superstars that I have ever trained in my virtual expert training program. Her name is Kate Wiley, and Kate is the owner of Free My Time Virtual Services. And Kate started with my training program about three years ago. And today she's going to talk about how she is helping business owners grow their businesses and what it's really like to be a virtual expert. Kate, thank you so much for being on here with me today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Um, and you guys, you might be like, wow, they wear in tiaras. Oh, well, it's part of our culture in our virtual expert program that when you grow your business and get to a certain level, you get a tiara from me because it's just something that I think is fun to wear and makes us feel prettier and helps us have even more fun because you don't have to have a boring business. You can have a fun business and still achieve all of your goals. So Kate, um, would you tell us a little bit about how things are going in your business during this um, unusual, uncertain time? Because a lot of people are thinking, oh, you know, it's just going to be like everywhere else. Nobody's going to have any work. Mm -hmm. But that's not what you're experiencing, is it? No. I'll be honest, when this all first started happening, I went through the, oh my gosh, everybody, all my clients are going to leave. It's, everything's going to be shut down and ruined. And thankfully, we have an amazing support group. And Kathy is always helping keep us positive and good information. So I'm like, okay, stop it. Calm down. <laughs> Let's think about this. <laughs> so I, a lot of my clients have brick and mortar businesses. And they're like, we have no idea what we're going to do now. So I've been brainstorming with them. We've added extra calls a week. And my one client who was not online at all, except for emails and databases, which is what I was doing for her, we've come up with some ideas to make her business virtual. And she even said to me the other day, she said, Kate, you are the only reason my business is moving forward. She said, I had no clue what to do. Um, so congratulations, really Kate. That is, yeah. that has to feel really good, Kate. Congratulations. Oh, it feels great. Yeah. So this month I've actually been busier than any other month with more billable hours. And I haven't finished all of the data numbers yet, but I think March will be one of my highest months in three years. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. And it's fun. And Kate, could you I talk about helping? <laughs> oh, so it's fun. Uh, tell us a little bit about what a day in the life of a virtual expert is like. What you do. Okay. Um, I usually start with calls with my clients. They really appreciate the brainstorming aspect of it. Since I've been completely online for three years, I can give them tips and help. And another added bonus is I still homeschool my kids. So having my kids at home is nothing new. We've, I've always done it for three years. And I've actually been giving a lot of advice to my clients on how to deal with having kids and a husband at home, which I'm figuring out too, because he's never worked from home. So <laughs> we're all trying to figure that out. All home together, all sharing the same internet coming up with hours of who can have a call when and it's been interesting <laughs> so you start your morning with calls to clients calls. to help them brainstorm mm -hmm. and, and set plans and we um, plan all of that yeah go um good so after that i'll get to work i 
work from, for about two hours, and then I give my kids two hours of school time. So they still have to ask me questions. I still have to help them. So after the two hours with the kids, we break for lunch. And if they didn't get all their schoolwork done in those two hours, then it's homework for them. And I can go back to doing client work. I'll do client work usually until about four to five at night. And then we start dinner. And I think one of the most challenging parts about working from home is turning that off and not answering emails, especially with what's going on right now. I'll get in a panicked email at seven o'clock at night from a client like, what do I do with this? I'm like, it's okay. We'll talk about it in the morning. <laughs> It's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> and yeah. So, so not only are you help. Yeah. Not only are you helping your clients brainstorm on how to shift their businesses, how to pivot in this new economy, you're helping them with that, but you're also helping them by being a cheerleader and um, a, a shoulder, a shoulder to lean on and mm -hmm. sanity in this time of insanity. Right. It, I try to keep a positive attitude every time I talk to them because there's just so much negativity right now on the news, the newspaper, everywhere you look is negative. And I just say, it's okay. We got this. We'll think of something. I don't know what, but <laughs> we'll think of something. Yeah. yeah. And you always do. That's awesome. Um, so you're amazing kate and i'm so impressed with you i want to make sure Thank that you. people who are listening to this who might be thinking i didn't know that there were vas like this well that's because kate is a virtual expert she is in the top one percent of all freelancers and vas in the world and, and she has an amazing background she is as you can probably tell, incredibly intelligent and incredibly caring. So if you want to work with Kate, um, Kate, would you give your URL so business owners who would like to find out more about working with you can get in touch with you? Sure. My URL is freemytimeva.com. And we'll put a link in the comments below this video so that you guys can uh, easily get in touch with Kate. And Kate, I next I want to talk about what it was like before you became um, a virtual assistant. So there's a lot of people listening to this going, oh my gosh, this is so scary. Is this mm -hmm. world, this virtual assistant world really for me? So before you started, what were, how were you feeling? What were you thinking about? And what made you decide, yeah, I want to give this a try? I was terrified before I jumped into this because I was a stay at home homeschooling mom for 15 years and my kids were getting older and it's hard raising a family on one income so I was starting to think about getting a job outside the home and I'm like I it just feels wrong I'd have to live by somebody else's schedule I've been on my own schedule for 15 years how do I follow the rules of somebody else and I wasn't sure what to do because who would hire somebody who hasn't worked for 15 years? And a friend of mine, I was, she came over to my house and I was complaining and saying, oh, I'll just be a cashier at the dollar store. And she's like, no, you need to talk to Kathy and be a, become a virtual assistant. I, and I had no clue what that was. I had never heard of a virtual assistant. And I'm so glad I made that call to talk to Kathy. And I haven't looked back since. I love being a VA. I can help people. I can solve problems, all the things that I love to do and stay at home and still homeschool my kids. It's just fabulous. I love it. So Kate, those fears, and by the way, you guys, if you can't tell, I, I have been thrilled to have Kate in the program and I'm so thankful that her friend shared um, my information with her. So um, <clears throat> Kate, when you think about other people that are out there and they're listening to this and they're like, but could I do it? I love that you shared that you'd been a stay at home mom homeschooling for 15 years mm -hmm. because a lot of people have that. Um, what okay. would you tell people who are, who are like, 
sure she can do it, but maybe I can't. Mm -hmm. Oh, I said that same thing to every person I talk to in <laughs> Kathy's group. I'm like, yeah, but she's this and she's this and I'm not that. I can never do that. And I finally just decided, you know, yes, I can. I don't care. I'm going to do this because I don't want to work outside the home. I don't want to just be a cashier at the dollar store. I want my own business. And I saw this as the best way to do it because I had no clue how to start a business. I'm like, I don't know. I've tried to start so many other things and they all crashed and burned and failed. And I'm like, this is just going to be another failure on my list, but I don't <laughs> care. I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> And I love so Kathy's what do you thing. think the key, what do you oh. think the key was that kept, what do you think the key was that kept you from burning and failing on this one? Well, how was this different than the other ones? The support system is the most amazing thing in the world. You, you don't know how good it is until you're in it. And they're like, this is just the best thing ever. And my coach, having a coach that you can email with any questions, because I never had filled out an LLC form. I've never done contracts. And to know that I could email it to my coach first and she says, okay, you need to change this and this and then you're good to go. Um, it was just amazing. I would not have this business today if it wasn't for the coaching and the support group. Thanks, Kate. So yeah, um, what Kate's talking about is when you become a member of our virtual expert training program, you not only get the step by step training, you also get your own private business coach who's already been where you want to go uh, privately working with you for six months. And like she said, you get unlimited emails, texting, and you get um, 60 minutes a month of one-on-one -on -one coaching via Zoom like she and I are doing right here. Mm -hmm. And then there's just tons of other support in our group that you get. Literally 24-7, you can get in our Facebook group and find out answers to stuff. So we do have a really great group. Mm -hmm. And another really awesome thing that has happened over the last three years is Kate excelled so well in her business and she's such a caring person that I went to her and asked if she would like to be one of those private business coaches in the virtual expert training program. And fortunately she said, yes, Kate is one of those coaches. <laughs> so Kate, you told me a story just before we started about someone that you're coaching now and how you were able to help them. So would you mind sharing that story? Yeah. One of my coaching clients was getting, I mean, you, the news is just terrible and you're nervous about doing things. And just like I was nervous at the beginning. So we had a quick 15 minute kind of pick me up call. And I gave her a whole list of things. I'm like, just don't even worry about it. Just do this and do this and follow this in the program. You got this. And I was so excited on Sunday night, she emailed to say, thanks for that call. I have completely filled up my Monday with booked calls. So. Yay. <laughs> Sorry, I had myself muted because my husband's mm. talking upstairs and I was afraid oh. you could hear him on this recording. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one of the challenges of working from home is dogs bark, other people in the yeah. home speak loudly, the phone rings. I'm surprised the phone hasn't rang. Um, but it's still really, really, I mean, how does it feel to be able to work from home all the time, Kate? It's amazing. Like where I live, we get big snowfalls and ice and I don't have to go out. <laughs> yeah, and, and I get that same kind of weather here. I love that I can wear whatever I want. Um, like, you know, mm -hmm. PJs on the bottom and a t-shirt on the top. That's what I got on today. Yeah. A tiara, if you want. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, who doesn't want to run around in pajamas and tiaras all day? <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Um, a lot of times people think that working for themselves is lonely. So Kate, what would you tell them about that? It's all up to you. If you plug into groups, if like sometimes some other people in our group will have calls with each other and Zoom calls with each other. We just know each other so well and we're going through the same things, trying to run a business at home. My other friends, they have no clue really what it's like because they don't 
have a business at home. <laughs> um, and it, so I'm not lonely at all. I'm just surrounded by people who get me. Yeah, and we do Zooms, we talk in the Facebook group, and once a year we get together in a live event, um, which we had to move from April to October this year, but we're still looking forward to getting together. And when you meet those people that you've only known via Zoom, how does that feel? Uh, it's just the best feeling in the world. I, I tell you, we were all so disappointed to have to extend the date out, but Obviously, we had no choice. Um, my kids, you too, feel like they always go. Your kid, yeah, because like, Kate brings it's a whole family event. Tell them, Kate. It <laughs> yeah, the kids love St. Louis. And my one son, he's like, Mom, I just miss St. Louis so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> and this year, your husband's going to come to the live event. By the way, um, right. we're, we're getting ready to have a virtual online event april 17th and 18th so if you're listening to this and you'd like to participate in that um, you can click the link below and grab a ticket and kate your husband is he going to participate in the virtual online event he well he probably will he still cool. has to work on friday but he's going to listen well you know there it's it's more fun to be on live um, um, not only because it's more fun, you can ask questions. Um, I'm going to be giving away prizes, yeah. uh, but we will be recording it. So if it's easier for him to listen to the recordings, he's welcome to do that. Uh, yeah. Because uh, isn't he and you, aren't you guys kind of thinking about when he can become a team member? Right. Our goal Talk is about that. to have him retire. He's a amazing computer programmer and copywriter and well, I guess this is the first time I'm admitting it, so don't tell. <laughs> All the blog posts and copy that I've been writing for people has really been him, but he's so embarrassed and shy about it. I'm like, this writing is amazing. One of my clients, she's been in advertising for 30 years, and she didn't change one single email in his email <sighs> sequence that he wrote. Yeah, so... He might be able to retire and work from home sooner than we thought. There's no coding problem he can't figure out. So when I get wow, stuck in a website, he just codes his way around it. Wow. And he's kind of saying, Kate, just learn coding. It's so much better than WordPress. So <laughs> he's been teaching me coding on the side. Ah, cool. And by the way, you guys, Kate is, as you can tell, very technical, very knowledgeable. Um, she's actually very good at everything, but Kate, would you talk a little bit about what you specialize in, in case, you know, for both for those uh, people who are thinking about becoming a virtual assistant and those who might need to hire you, what do you specialize in? I specialize in technology management. I help my clients take all of those pieces and parts of their online business and make it run together with their website. I build websites, maintain the websites, and then I get, you know, all the forms that break all the time from MailChimp. I keep those working and put them in the site and do the email sequences, like an active campaign and entreport, which three years ago, I had never even heard those words before. <laughs> And yeah, so if you're, you're, if you're listening to this and you're like, I don't even know what she's talking about, of course I could never do that. Kate yeah. didn't, had never heard of it before this either. It was going through the lessons, Kathy's lessons, and on the lessons for my website, I decided I would just figure out how to build my own website and ended up loving it. I was going to be a blog writer, but I loved building my own website. <laughs> so my poor website, and it's my practice <laughs> ground, and so I practiced crashing it just so I could bring it back up. I don't know how many times. I've crashed my poor website just so I could experiment. <laughs> that is hilarious. That's hilarious. But you don't have to be techie in order to be a well-paid virtual expert. I know this because I am just the opposite of Kate. When she says coding, I, I start shutting down. My brain goes, I don't even want to hear about it. I've never built a website. I've never done any of those things. So there are jobs, there's work across the board 
for virtual assistants and virtual experts. Every, anything that can possibly be done, we can do virtually, including these days having coffee delivered. I used to say the only thing we couldn't do was deliver coffee, but now we can even do that. Mm -hmm. So don't think, oh my gosh, I could never do that techie work. Or I don't want to do that kind of stuff. That's okay. There are tons of other things you can specialize in, very creative things, marketing, bookkeeping, and on and on and on. So don't let especially anything now. stop you, especially now. So one of the other things, Kate, that you and I talked about before this started that I want to share with everybody is um, how this world is changing as a result of the crisis that we're in right now and what we believe, um, what we really, really see that's going to be happening even when this is over. So you want to talk about that a little bit more? Mm -hmm. I think we mentioned this a little earlier, but the brick and mortar clients that I have, we're working on programs so they can completely put their business online. Uh, we're working on new services and new webinars that they can offer. And they're really excited about it. So I think that once things, you know, go back to normal, but they probably- Whatever the like new normal is. Before, <laughs> right. I really don't see my clients dropping this virtual side of their business. I think they're going to end up loving it. And which is more work for people like me. <laughs> yeah, for virtual assistants and right. virtual experts. That's exactly. right. Exactly. And, and so where a lot of the world is slowing down, our industry is growing exponentially. So if you are thinking about this and you're like, wow, am I going to have a job to go back to? Now's the time to learn how to be a virtual expert so that you are ahead of the game. So that by the time this new economy ramps back up, you're like, hey, I already got this, right? Yep. Yeah. Exactly. So, Kate, is there anything else that you would like to share that I forgot to ask you about or anything you think that people listening to this, either business owners or people thinking about becoming a virtual assistant? would like to know? I think it's just learning to keep positive with everything going on around us and don't be afraid to try new things. Just go for it. If it doesn't work, great. You know that doesn't work and you can try something else. That's how I built my whole business. I didn't know what I would niche down to. I didn't know what I would find in love. and. I'm so glad that I just kept thinking outside of the box and growing. Yeah. Um, and, you know, like you, Kate, I had tried a lot of different businesses before. Like I'd done network marketing. I didn't, I sold a lot for the company, but I didn't make any money myself. I tried selling on eBay. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. I hate shipping. I hate doing that kind of stuff. So I very quickly, one year, I think I made it one year and I was like, no, I'm not doing that anymore. And when I found this, I was like you, I'm like, oh, this is so much fun. And I can make real money doing this. So I've been doing like this work. since 2000. It doesn't feel like, I, I know, I love getting up here. You know, when you said um, the most difficult thing is not working when you should be off being, you know, yeah. resting, being with your family. I think it's because we love what we do so much. Yeah. And people are so like, too. what do you do for fun? And I'm like, if I really I want to business. have fun, <laughs> exactly. I work. <laughs> the thing that's the most fun for me is my business. Yeah, I yeah, agree. I agree. Me too. Not that I don't love my family. I do. And I know you love your family so much. You yeah. have such a great family. So, all right, everybody. So I want to remind you of two things. One, Kate, would you share your URL again? It's freemytimeva.com. And anybody who is interested in learning more about becoming a virtual expert and working with me and my team, and perhaps Kate as your coach, we have a dozen coaches. So um, you get to work with somebody that's going to be a great fit for you. I invite you to email me at Kathy at expertvatraining.com or check me out on Facebook at Expert VA Training and Virtual Expert Training or 
um, check out another website that I have where there's a bunch of free stuff on there. It's virtualexperttraining.com. Thanks everybody for listening. And Kate, thank you so much. This was really You're helpful. You're welcome.